Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you back to Let's Play Killer7, this is episode 5. What we're going to do in this episode is enter the password that we got in the last episode with the um, blood wall that we needed to slit our wrists for. <laughs> Which was lovely. And it was no. So. Let's get going. This is going to be a part that will be in every assignment. It's quite strange. I, I think it's no. Oh, it's not. It's in a moment, though. I'll get back to you on that point in a bit. This is where the queen is. It's different than a duplicate. Sexual. <laughs> it's an evolved heaven smile with boosters explosive power. Right, we're going to come across the mini boss soon. Got to take it out before it gets too close. They're crazy, I'm telling you. They'll be on top of you the moment you open the damn door. It's true. It's going to be... The mini bosses in this game are quite tough. They can be quite tough. <laughs> but um, don't worry about them too much. You sh <laughs> this should be like a little gimmick to beating them, you know. Oh shit! <laughs> Here we go, press the X thing, that can't do attack. When they get too close, press X and you can't do them. They don't deal any damage. I don't think it works for every... Um, for every type of enemy. Hello, it was Aru. Master. We're in a tight spot. We know we are. Things are turning in a bad way. I think we're doing quite well, actually. An infamous crim criminal lies this way. And he's protecting him. He's talking about the mini boss protecting the main boss. Wicked bad partners indeed, yes? Ah, yes. <laughs> Seek out the soul shells. We got both of them. With soul shell, soul shells. <laughs> Be sure to allow you through the gates. In the name of Harmon. He will. He will definitely. Boiler room. In order to get to the boiler room though. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is something we'll have to do in every assignment. That I can think of. Meet the gate gatekeeper, give him the shells from throughout the level, throughout the assignment. And we can get through the Vinklum gate. Let me take those. All received. Go right on inside. If you don't, you're going to have to backtrack through the level and that's a nightmare, really. Okay, what I'm going to do for this sort of little sector, I'm going to turn the mic off because the music is pretty amazing and I want you guys to to hear it properly. So I'll see you in a bit on the other side. It'll only be like a couple of minutes. In a bit. Oh wow, I thought it went on for longer now, and it will do, we'll hear it again now on the other side of this Coliseum. Master, we're in a tight spot. Ain't even funny how tight it is. Once you open the door, there's no turning back, Master. Well, you can come back, but I mean, that's the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Like a prelude to later battles, you see, you must take it very seriously. In the name of Harmon. Yeah, okay. It's gonna get serious. It says Coliseum, but it's more like... It reminds me of, like, an uh, underground car park or multi-story car park or something. Okay, the guy who got killed before when he had his hand held. This monster is quick as lightning. I tried my best to run away. But it caught up with me anyway. Hurry. Kill it before it explodes. No, as long as you've upgraded a character pretty decently, you should be okay with this mini boss coming up. Just so long as you've got the power and the attack speed up. And I can use Kaidi. I normally use Master Smith and just blast it away. But this time, Speed Smile is going down. 
something like this. If we can hit the critical, which is quite hard because about weird he is. Let me give your controller quite low. <laughs> sure, I was a bit random then, but... There we go. Hit the critical point by just keeping on shooting repeatedly and... You know, you should make it through him quite easily, really. You will die if he gets to you, though. There's no doubt about that. There's no living through his attack. Okay, here we go. The other side of the gate where the music will start again. Don't need to get more shells or anything. It's just to conclude that little section. I think there's a cutscene coming up now, so I might be turning the mic off. Okay, I'm going to go in Harmon's room just to make a checkpoint. Same as usual. And the blood. Yeah, we might have got quite a bit of blood from that mini-boss, did we? A little bit. I mean, that's not even just from the mini-boss, though, so... I don't know. Con would have been a good choice for that mini-boss as well, for the speed stuff. Why can't we create any more blood? Is that all we can create? Closed. <laughs> That's the most um, C runs we can make in this level, in other words. Be sure they don't get too far ahead and find the game too easy. So, we've got a couple to spend, so... Come on, you. I think we'll leave it for now before doing any more of that. We are forced to use a certain character for this mini boss. Uh, for this main boss. Coming up now. But don't worry if you haven't been using or upgrading every character. Because the character that we're going to have to use isn't one that you can upgrade. You'd think that was a spoiler, but it's not really. You'll see. Elevator time. We're going to the roof. Or the top floor. <laughs> it's not on the roof. I, I don't know. Don't ask. The episode might be a bit longer depending on how the cutscenes go. I'm not sure how long they get. It's time to be transformed into our compulsory character, and that is Garshan Smith. Just for now, at least. Hello, Travis. Pillow talk. <laughs> oh, there you are. Don't be shy, Amir. Who would have figured you'd be the only survivor? Ah, oh, Garson is Amir. I, I suppose they would have, like, an alliance when they are assassins. Yeah, I know. Don't be so mad, man. He's so creepy. He hasn't got eyes or teeth or anything. He creeps me out so much. The chief will wake up. Really, I'm sorry. The other chief must be rolling on the floor with laughter. Yes. No matter which way you go. It's like a circle. Time for a cutscene, I think. Hold on. I think it is. <laughs> We're about to be transformed once again. This is... This is Harmon Smith. I'll let the game show you. Please, be careful, sir. I'm the mother of this sacred place. Our four children served their purpose. They didn't die in vain. But our other nine children were killed by you. What do you want from us? Is it so bad that we have a purpose in life? We are only serving our gods. At heaven's command, we will kill the unwanted. We must get rid of bad trees from their roots. I hope you are not one of them. Good night, child. It's past your bedtime. Right, here we go. Sometimes this takes me like two seconds. Sometimes it takes me quite a while to defeat this. This is the boss. <laughs> um, 
Harmon Smith, who he is, he is the overarching personality. He is the main one. He's the real one. This is how I've always interpreted it anyway. He might prove me wrong later on in the game. I don't know. But he's the one you can use, not Garshan like I was thinking before, but you can use Harmon Smith on a second time through the game as a proper character. You think you killed me? Better think again. <laughs> Are you ready, folks? I'm going to use Katie because she's got the sniper and it's pretty important on this one. You could use the grenade launchers, you could use Khan, because he, even if you miss with Khan, um, you know, it takes a while to. You can shoot quite a lot, is what I'm trying to say. Right. Once he attacks, get moving. I might have done it too soon then. Yeah, I did. Wait. There we go. Once you start seeing the fire. Get around the back. And take down the four faces. Just go do it four times once we each face. Each face, not each fish. <laughs> Let's go again. Two down. It normally takes me a bit longer to figure out how to do this because I never remember how straight away for some reason. But this time it's gone quite well. I'm quite proud, quite impressed with myself. Oh, hold on. Ran a bit too soon then. It's quite an easy boss. The rest of the game is going to get tougher. This is seriously practice for the rest of the game this place has been. So it is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Right, now that's done. We can carry on. I think it's the way. If it's not, we'll just have to come back into this room and everything. But to get introduced to another character again. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. I thought it'd be the wrong way. It generally is. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode, like I predicted. It is going to be probably about 20 minutes. Once we finish the assignment completely and get the opportunity to save. That's when I'll cut the episode next. Plenty of cutscenes in come in. Good ones. <laughs> oh yeah, Samantha Sitborn as well. We saw her as the maid. She's all innocent, looking after Harmon, pushing his wheelchair around. She is a nice character, which you wouldn't expect. While she's working, she's a very nice person. Large hall. Here we go, I think there's a cutscene coming up once again. Hey, I think you can only go a certain way forward before you get stopped. Yeah, here we go. Same as in the last room. He's another sniper which sort of fits... Uh, I think a sniper fits... Where is he? Here he is. Fits an old man in the wheelchair, that's what I was trying to say. Sniper probably fits that. Because he can't run away from enemies and stuff, so he has to hide back a bit. Cutscene. Oops. I guess my trick didn't work on you. Tricks are for kids, Coon. I'm an old man. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing has changed for 30 years. No matter how many times you try, the result will be the same. Ah, uh, yes. Like our chess games, you always seem to win. Do you know why? You tell me. Because you're a bad player. <laughs> a new generation of children will bring order to the sage. You're a good friend, but unfortunately, our interest is not mutual. 
We both have become burdened with so much, and we don't have time for fun anymore. No, <laughs> there's always time for fun. It's Friday night. Let's dance. There's still a tiny bit more. This can be a cutscene straight away, so I'll be turning the mic off in like two seconds. Just shoot this. The size of the world has changed. It's changed to the size where you can control it with your hands, just like a PDA. The world will keep getting smaller. <laughs> we just went through all our assignment and we didn't even get a chance hardly to take down the the leader. So Kunlan Kunlan, I think that was the name, is still out there everywhere. The day when laughter disappears from this world draws near. So the terrorists are gonna try and exterminate the world, all the people and everything. Continue to sunset. That's gonna be a very different assignment. Each assignment is actually quite different from each other, so don't expect the game to get repetitive at all, or for it to get too samey, you know? So it's not going to. It's all going to be this shooting style and this on on rail sort of feel to it, but it's not going to be at all similar in any other sense of the word, really. So, this has been Green XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in a bit. Oh, hold on. Anyways, at the very end, I get interrupted. <laughs> it's so annoying. Anyway, anyway, you'll see that the silhouette is actually filled in now, so... So, yeah, next up is Sunset. You can't tell who that is yet. Um, I mean, we probably haven't even met the person, but you never know. You never know, folks. Anyway, now, this is Green the XI. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, section of the game, this assignment. I'm hoping you're enjoying the game so far. If you've never played it before, I hope it's exceeding expectations of a first-person shooter. <clears throat> and you see why I said it isn't generic like other first-person shooters or other horror games. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit.